Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really, really well. Um, when was the last time I filmed in my bedroom? I cannot remember. Um, yeah, the last time that I actually got my softbox light out of the cupboard, set it up, and sat on my bed while filming. Um, but I hope you're doing really well. Today's video is a review of the beauty products I received in the month of August. As you may know, I never got my birch box in the end. A little update, I uploaded that video talking about it and then I got an email from them saying um, they're really sorry for the late reply, they're trying to work on it but having some issues and they're gonna close, they're gonna close the communication now. Um, I think I'm going to reply and say just don't worry about it because um, I don't think I want to sign back up again. Even though I didn't get Birchbox, I did actually order the ASOS box and the most recent ASOS box came out yesterday I think or the day before um, and that looks alright actually but I didn't go for it. In the ASOS box for August I got a couple of products that I have already used before and so knew that I would like them so I think I'll just start with them and talk about them because I have used all of them in the last month as well just to make sure I was like up to date in my opinions I guess. The first one is the Benefit 24 hour brow setter looks like this it's a mini and again I love a brow gel and I do like this one. The brush is a little bit odd in the sense that it's flat um, and it doesn't have brushes like the whole 360 degrees around it. It's got like shorter brushes on one end and longer brushes on the other end um, but it's like a flat paddle. So yeah I found that interesting. Um, it doesn't feel super crispy on my eyebrows i can tell there is a little bit of product there though um and it's clear and i liked it so i'm definitely going to finish all of that uh the second item that i have used before is Too faced better than sex mascara i have already got mascara all over the actual tube whenever it wants to focus i actually can't tell if that's focused or not but maybe it is um yeah do you know what in the video before I said how I really like this it's not one of my favorites though and I, st I still agree I do think it's a little bit better than I kind of remember it being though I do really like it I, at the moment I'm putting a soap and glory thick and fast mascara on first and then I'm coming in with this it's a nice thick brush and yeah I think it's really good my favorite mascara I've used is NARS Climax um, but this is still very good so I'm definitely gonna get through this mini and then there are three items that I haven't tried before. Um, the first one is the NARS Orgasm Blush. And in my video, someone actually wrote that they found they didn't get much like pigmentation from it. They much prefer to use it on their eyelids. And I was like, hmm, I'll see, because a lot of people rave about this. I haven't used it on my eyelids, but I do agree. I have to dip into this so much to get colour on my face um which is a shame as well like because I already am a pretty pale person um and I need to build this up I've got it on today but I've also got a lot of bronzer on <laughs> but I don't really notice that much of a difference and I much prefer my Too Faced Love Flush those blushes that are in the heart shape um so yeah I feel like I'll use this because I still feel like it's a nice colour I just need to build it up a lot um, it's still a colour that's up my street, I just wish it was a bit more pigmented. And yeah, I mean I can kind of see it on the apples of my cheeks and I always put it up a bit um, and a bit on my nose and on my chin. But yeah, I don't really feel like you can see it very well at all. So yeah, a bit of a letdown but also glad I tried it because this is such a cult favourite and so is the Laguna Bronzer and I really like the Laguna Bronzer there would have been a time where I would have been tempted to buy a full size of this and now I've tried it I'm like oh I don't need a full size of this because I would prefer another blush so yeah I also think with blusher you can get such good blushes from the drugstore that are really pigmented in so many different colours um that yeah so I will get through it but not my favourite uh the Morphe 2 glassified lip oil or glassified I feel like it's meant to be glassified like that's classified information but I don't know 
Uh, this is in the shade Be Kind and it's kind of like this orangey corally lip gloss. I've got it on right now. I don't really think the colour really comes out. There's maybe like a little bit, but it's very much like, you can't really tell now. Let's put some more on. Let's put some more on on camera. I feel like it's a very juicy lip gloss. Can you tell? Come closer. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like it's a very, very juicy lip gloss, which I think they are great for, I don't know, if you want to put one on before you take a photo from a video. If you're going out somewhere, like you're going out in the evening, you're going to be constantly reapplying this. So I don't really feel like it's worth it in that way because it doesn't really last on the lips. I think for me as a person as well, I've taken some pictures wearing this. And I think maybe with just my skin tone and the makeup I wear, when I wear a clear gloss, it comes out basically clear. When I wear like a clear gloss on its own, my lips don't look right. Um, so I think this might be good to kind of chuck over a colour, a coloured lipstick, and then chuck this over to make it like a little bit glossy. And then at least your colour will stay and you can just keep like reapplying the gloss. But yeah, I think it's all right. I think it might be something that I use. I go back to work on Monday. When I'm working from home, I mean, I tend to use lip balm a lot, but when you, you know, when you've just done your makeup and you might have like a little bit of foundation or concealer like on your lips or something, and normally I would use, I like to chuck something on my lips. So I feel like this would be good. Um, or like a lip balm. Um, I wouldn't buy this again in any of their shades, I don't think, um, because it just vanishes so quickly. But I can also understand why it's then in the Morphe 2 range and could see myself buying like a little set for like my sister or someone for their birthday or Christmas or something like that. My sister is 12 and I feel like stuff like this is good. Um, but you could also get them from anywhere. So yeah. Yeah, not necessarily this brand really, but hey, I've tried it. <laughs> and then the last thing that was in the ASOS box was the LMS Superfood Glow Priming Moisturiser. I kind of forgot about this, but I've been using it the last couple of days. Um, if you don't know, I would say I have oily skin. Maybe I'd say I'm a combination with oily tendencies, but I get super oily in my T-zone. So I normally don't go for like a glow moist. My voice is so funny then. I don't really go for like glow moisturizers that are just so like, wow, look at you, because my makeup's gonna slide everywhere and ugh. But I have tried this the last couple of days. It's a priming moisturizer, so I assumed that that meant you didn't have to then use a primer before doing your makeup, but when I put this on my skin in the mornings, honestly, my skin glows. It glows. I look like I've just got this, like, sh shiny, this glowy, like, film on my face. Um, it's like, wow. It's like, it's like I've got highlighter all over my face, you know? And I'm not used to, to my face looking like that because I tend to avoid products like that. So I feel like if you've got dull or dry skin, I feel like you would absolutely love this. I am still gonna use it because I like to use my products, don't just throw them away for no reason. Um, and I have used it and not used a primer and done my makeup. I honestly haven't noticed any difference in the way my makeup looks, which is good. Um, I feel like I've been getting a bit oilier more quickly, however, it's also summer, do you know what I mean? It's also been a bit hot, so of course I'm gonna like, look oily and sweaty and everything else quickly, more quick than I would in winter. Um, so yeah, I mean, surprised by the glow, so I feel like if you if that's something you like, you would love it. Um, and yeah, it smells nice and it feels nice and it's all right. So that was everything in the ASOS box and I tried absolutely everything, which shows me that it was definitely worth the money. Um, yeah. I uh, thank you everyone for watching this video and also giving me some suggestions for boxes I can start getting now that I'm not going to be getting my birch box um, and yeah I need to really sit down and have a look at that um, but thank you very much and I will see you next weekend in my next video.